In this video, I'm going to show you how to download or export different file types and multi-page documents from Kittle. So let's go ahead and dive in right here. So I've got this really massive coloring book project, which by the way, you can check in a video up in the top right part of the video to check out that full tutorial on how to make a coloring book document in Kittle. But what I want to talk about specifically is downloading, which is in this top button over here. Now I'm at the full screen size, so you can see the entire word that says download. Yours might be just that little icon. No worries. If you click it, you're going to see the same exact things that I see. And you're also going to see different file types. So what that means is you can click on this little drop down and you're going to see PNG, JPEG, SVG, which is a scalable vector graphic file, and then PDF, which is another uh, basically kind of like a printable document, a uh, Adobe Acrobat file type. Uh, it can also hold vector data in it. So what we want to figure out is what would be best for the project type. So for example, if you're doing a lot of print on demand, then a PNG would with the removed background would be excellent for your merch designs that need a transparent graphic so that it prints on the shirt and the shirt color comes through and you don't have this kind of like bounding box around it right so that's the first thing you would want to figure out is what file type i need if you don't need a transparent background maybe you're doing like a social media post or something like that then jpeg would be great that means that it retains everything that's on the artboard size whether that be a solid color or if you have a texture or something in the background whatever a jpeg will download all of it together um, and then you can do a scalable vector graphic. So you could download an SVG. Let's say that you want to edit your project in a different program, such as Illustrator or uh, Affinity Designer or something like that. And you want to retain all of the vector elements from what you've made in Kittle, or perhaps you've made a, uh, a flyer, a banner, something that's going to be sent to a printer and they need the scalable vector graphic. They need an SVG to, you know, size it at the right thing. Maybe you're making business cards or something like that. An SVG would be perfect for that. And then a PDF, which would be perfect for what you see right here, such as a coloring book or a document or a digital planner or a calendar or uh, anything else that you might want to print, even like an invitation card. Maybe you're going to print that at home or something else like that. PDF would be perfect with that. So those are our four main file types in Kittle. And there's several ways that you can export or download whatever you need from Kittle. So this is a rather large project that I have open, which is good for this demonstration because you can see up here, it says all artboards 53. Now, if I click on this, I can see the drop down of everything that's in here. Now, right now it's selected on all artboards. If I check that off, it's going to warn me, hey, you're trying to download something, but there's nothing selected. So let's say perhaps I just want to export the cover by itself. I would just go over here and select cover. And now only the cover is selected. And you can see that I can still select any of the different file types that I want. And then all I have to simply do is adjust my DPI if I want to. I know this is going to be printed, so I can adjust my DPI to 300. I don't want the background removed. There's no point for that. And then I could download that project artboard and it is going to be downloaded into my downloads and so then what I'll be able to do is grab it I'm gonna go ahead and open it and I'll drag it over onto the screen so that you can see it so after I have this open I can drag this over and then you can see that here is my PDF that has been downloaded from Kittle I open it up boom Here's my PDF, it's ready to go. So that is one way to get your export is by going to the little drop down and seeing how many different uh, pages you have and selecting the one that you want. Now, if you're only working on a project with one artboard and you go to export it, obviously it'll only export that one uh, artboard, so you have no problem there. Now, another way that you can go ahead and decide which artboard you want to download is just by clicking on it. So for example, if I zoom in here real quick, let's say I just want to export the cover. Um, I don't have to go over here and like sift through all of the artboards on my page. I can just simply click on the cover. And so when I've got this selected, when I have the cover artboard or the, whatever the title of the artboard I want, if I go to download, you can see it's already selected for me, which is excellent. And I can still change all of my different settings that I need to. And this will apply to anything I want. So if I click on the first page here, 
and I go to download, then boom, there's first page and it's selected here. You can still see it from the drop down, and that is the artboard that I have selected. So let's say I want this one. Let's say I want this at PNG for whatever. It's already retained my DPI settings, which is great. And let's say I don't want the background removed. I'm just gonna go ahead and hit download. Um, probably won't use that PNG for anything, but that is exactly how you do it. Um, and then you would go to your downloads in your computer, boom, and it is done and ready to go. Now, another way that you could, let's say I wanted to do the first page through, I don't know, page five of these. I could go here, first page is already selected. I could go ahead and hit two, three, four, and five. And let's say I, I know I'm going to use this as a PDF, um, but I just want to check out these pages. Maybe I just want a little proof of these few pages. I'm gonna go ahead and select PDF. And what you're gonna see is this little check box button right here that says combine artboards into one file. Now, if I don't select that button, it is going to give me a zip file with all five of those together, right? So it's gonna give me all five of those pages as a PDF separately in a zip file. So let me go ahead and just do that. I'm going to go ahead and hit download. I've selected PDF, so I'm gonna download that and we'll let that take a second because it's gonna zip all that together. But now let me go ahead and select um, combine artboards into one file. So I've selected first page through the fifth page. I won't do the entire document for the purposes of this, but now I've got combine artboards into one file. I'll go ahead and download the same thing there. It's gonna take a second and it's going to create a fully a cohesive document all of them are going to be together and then let's open that up to see what that looks like okay so I've just taken the two documents from my downloads folder and so here you can see coloring book zip so I'm gonna double click to unzip this it's given me the folder I'm gonna open up the folder and then now you can see the individual pages as a PDF here individually in this folder okay so then i would if i wanted to uh use them separately great maybe i just want one of these pages to export for i don't know maybe you're going to have your kids color it in and you just want the separate page um, otherwise i would have to figure out how to combine these together which there are some free tools to do that or i can have clicked that check little box that says combine together and so now I have all of my pages here now I selected the wrong boards um, I selected a different set of boards which I had off to the side um, as squares because I was saving these images to utilize later but you can see here it still combined them all together right so let me pull Kittle back up and just to show you what that would look like so I'll go first page I'm gonna hold the shift key on my keyboard and I'm gonna click these uh, pages right here I'm gonna go four and I'm gonna go five okay and so I could keep going like that but now when I go to download you can see right here selected artboard six so it knows which artboards I've selected I'm gonna go ahead and select PDF again I'm gonna go combine artboards into one file and then I'm going to hit download and then just for the sake of demonstration I'm gonna show you what it looks like uh, that way so here is the re-exported uh, document with all of the correct sizing, right? So here's the first page, the second page, the third page. So here's everything together, which is great because now you can have a prepped file for exactly how you need it when you're going to upload it to, let's say, Amazon KDP if you're going to do a coloring book or if you're working with a printer and they need your document or you're selling like a digital planner on something on, on Etsy or something like that, you can easily now check that box and have all of your PDFs combined into one document. So now you have a good idea for working your way around the download settings. Just to recap, there are several different ways I can export. If I have nothing selected, what I can do is I can go to download, I can drop down and I can select from all of the different artboards I have, or I can simply select all of the artboards if I want everything exported. I can certainly take that off and then start to click through uh, different artboards and pages and things like that to select different ones and it will categorize them here for me or if I want to select specifically what I can do is I can select one page 
if I go to the downloads, it already knows I just want that page selected. I can still select all of my different file types, or if I want multiple, maybe I have a large document like this, which is over 50 artboards, and I just want a couple of them, then I can go ahead and hold my shift key. I can hold my shift button on the keyboard, select the text of the title of each artboard. When I go to download, then it has exactly the ones that I have selected from the dropdown. I can still go through and I can select any file type that I want. I can remove the background if I'm doing PNGs for print on demand or anything else is transparent. I can control my DPI for PDFs, or I can simply export a scalable graphic and SVG to use in any other platform. So I hope this was helpful on how to export different things, different file types from Kittle. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments because I want to help you become a Kittle master faster. Understanding which file type you need will really help you out when you go to export so that way you export the right file type so there is no errors, there's no headaches in the future. Now let me know also in the comments what else you want to learn. Are there other questions that you have? Are there other concerns that you have? Are you trying to figure out how to do something you just can't figure it out? Let me know down in the comments so I can make more videos for you and don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any updates you don't miss new templates new features new tutorials new interviews for coffee with kiddo i don't want you to miss anything so make sure you subscribe to the channel down below and we'll see you in the next video